Hey, what's going on guys? Jason here, and this is a, another project series that I'm doing. Uh, this one I'll be building a React Notes project. And so what this project uh, does is you have a, a list of notes here, note cards, and you can add a note. So if I wanna do like order pizza, I can click enter or click the add note button and it'll add a note. I can also delete some notes. If I wanna edit one, I can do an order or order Chinese. Order Chinese. And it'll update so that works cool and so uh, with this project i'm going to build it using react hooks so i'll be using uh use state use reducer use context use effect use ref i'll be using all of these hooks in combination so you guys can get a better idea of how they work uh together um and yeah so i have a github repo that i'll link in the show notes so if you guys want to uh, go i won't be uh showing you how to code out the css so if you guys want to go, if you guys want to do your own CSS, that's fine. Or you can come to the repo and just copy the app.css and index.css files and you should be good to go. But uh, yeah, so uh, let's get into it. So then I set this project up using create react app. So I'll delete a couple files I won't need. Let's see, delete those, delete app.js. We'll remove that and we don't need that as well. Save that and index. We'll do that. Okay, so we'll put app.css in the index.js file and make sure you put it after the index.css file. All right, so we have that set up there. Cool. App.js. We'll remove some of this boilerplate code and We'll just make sure everything is working correctly. Looks like it is, sounds good. All right. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the uh, global state for the project. So I'll do, uh, and I'm going to make use of uh, React uh, context. So I'll, in the source folder, I'll create a new file. I'll call it context. So this will be the global state for our project. So in here we'll do, um, React from React, and then let's see here. So now in here, we will go ahead and do, let's see. Create a variable, we'll call it notes context equals react.create context. We'll do current note null. And then we'll have our notes array there. And then we'll create some objects. Cool, so then in here we'll make uh, add a ID property, add a text property. This one will be do homework. And this one will be an ID with a text property of take out trash. And then we'll add another one. Text property of clean uh, room. That looks good. Export default notes context. All right, cool. And then app.js, we will, let's see here. So we'll go ahead and import um, our notes context from context cool and then let's see here in here what I want to do whoops I'm going to import use context from react so we'll do use context and in here we'll make use of use context pass in our notes context 
and we'll just set this to a variable initial state equals to use context. All right, cool. That looks good. And um, so now I will create another file. This one will be called reducer. So we'll be making use of uh, use reducer hook in React. And use reducer, the use reducer uh, hook function passes in two things. One, a reducer function, which we'll be creating right now, and also an initial state. So in here, we'll do an export default reducer. And then we will go ahead and do a state and action. So then we'll also have our switch statement here, action.type. It'll have a case for this one. Uh, the first one, we'll just leave it as uh, default and we'll have it return state. So what, redu what the reducer function does is it basically uh, takes in some type of uh, action and based off that action type, so let's say we have an action where we want to edit the note, we'll have an action type here or a case of like edit note. So we're gonna be looking for cases where the action type matches like that edit note action type. And if it does, then we'll go ahead and return a new uh, uh, piece of state uh, based off that. So right now we haven't set that up. Right now we're just returning the just the state back. Um, so then use reducer, the use reducer hook, whoops, which we'll be importing here in React. Let's see over here. So use reducer hook, use reducer. So this gives us back uh, the state and it also gives us back a dispatch function. And whenever we're going to fire off an action in our app, we're going to basically um, invoke that dispatch function passing in an object, and that object will have two properties. So one will be the type, and the other will be the payload. So that's what will be sent to this. So when that dispatch function fires, it'll send whatever you pass in the dispatch function, and it'll go through here, and then it'll uh, take the action, and then it'll look and see what type of action type was passed in that dispatch, and then it'll go ahead and update the state based off of that uh, action type. So uh, we'll so we have use reducer and then we want to use use reducer and then let's see so we want to pass in the reducer and I have to import that reducer method or reducer function notes reducer. I'll call it notes reducer from reducer. So we have the reducer and that's notes reducer. And then our state, the initial state is the second argument and we'll pass that initial state, which is from our use context right there. Cool. And we actually get back a couple things. We get back the, uh, the state and we also get back that dispatch function that I was talking about. All right, cool. So uh, that all looks good. And uh, in here, I'll remove that. And now I'm going to pass in a notes context dot provider. So we're going to wrap our all our child components in here, so that way we can pass down the state that it needs to all our child components. We have a, a value property, and uh, we'll pass in an object, and this is what will be uh, passed down to our child components wherever they need it. So it'll be an object with state and dispatch, which we're getting from right here. Okay, and let's see. I think we should be good for now. Uh, um, so I think this is I think this is a good stopping point. Uh, in the next video, I'll go ahead and start building out the uh, some of the components, and some of them will start to make use of uh, the use context uh, hook and start wiring things up. 
But uh, yeah, so uh, if you guys enjoyed this uh, video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.